if you could design your own papa, your own daddy, what would he be like? That perfect daddy that you could design is only a shadow, only an imagination compared to what God the Father is. He is, he is so far beyond the, the most perfect daddy that you could imagine. And he said, don't provoke your children to wrath. Do you think he's going to be capricious and provoke us or tantalize us or dangle something in front of our nose and say, if you do, then I will, and, and stuff like that? Now, there are conditions. There are conditions in, in the scriptures, but it's based on what works. Remember, we talked about he designed us. He knows what works, and so there are conditions. If we, if we do things that he has designed for us not to do, then what we have here, this body, this life, this lifestyle, will, won't work. It's, it's just like if you, if you get a bicycle and you put it together wrong, it's not going to work. It's, it's the same reason. So it's not a capricious act or, or design of God. Uh, it's not a tantalizing kind of thing. It's just because it works right. He designed it and he knows how it works. Um, he said in Isaiah 1.18, Come, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. He's talking about salvation specifically there, but um, he said, Come, let us reason together. This is the God that I serve. He's a loving, reasonable God, and he will... Uh, he wants to chat with us about things. Even, you know what I've, I've figured out is even when we disagree with God, he still wants to hear from us. Disagreeing with God, that's, you know, that's like you know, beating up on a big tree or something. You know, it's not going to do you any good, but he still wants to hear from you. He still wants to know where you're at. Why, why do you feel that way? And then he, he can either you know, let you sit there and sulk for a while or, or uh, you know, go through your complaints, but he can just airing the problem. Some people feel like, well, God is so high and mighty, you know, if, if I tell him that I'm dealing with this one problem, you know, like he doesn't know, you know, <laughs> then, you know, I will seem less in his eyes or something like that. <laughs> he already knows. And so we might as well just let him know where we are. If we're having trouble with something that he wants us to do or whatever, talk to him about it. He said, come, let us reason together. You know, God wanted a relationship a real relationship with the beings he created. Adam walked with God. The, the word in, in the New Testament, I mean the Old Testament, where it says that Adam walked with God, the word for God there is Jehovah Elohim. So this is definitely God. This is not an angel. This is not, uh, this is not the, the Son of God. This, this is God. This is the God that we know and worship, the God of the universe, walked with Adam in the cool of the evening. Evening, Enoch walked with God. In fact, it goes on to say in the scriptures, Enoch walked with God and then he was not, for God took him. God just, he just walked with God so close that one day he walked on home with God. And in Young's literal translation, it says that he habitually walked with God. He had such a close relationship. And that was in the Old Testament. That was before the day of grace. That was before Jesus Christ. That was... In the, almost in the beginning, and God wanted relationship with the beings that he created. He walked with those that would walk with him. And then it says of Abraham in James, this is a New Testament quote, but it was about Abraham, and it said that Abraham was a friend. Imagine God walking with Adam, and um, I think in the garden, you know, when God came and walked, it, it indicates that God walked with Adam in the cool of the evening. Do you think that God walked with Adam in a somber, stoic kind of mood, like, well, Adam, you know, how's it going? Uh, you really didn't do that right, you know. I don't think that, I don't think that God walked with Adam in a somber, stoic mood. I've got another illustration of, of how God didn't walk with somebody. Do you think God walked Adam like, come on, Adam, come on, Adam. Hey, come over this way, Adam. Come on, Adam, what's wrong with you? You know, I don't think that God walked Adam as if Adam was a dog. I think they walked side by side. I think that, I think that Adam and God had a conversation like, um, like Adam might say, God, here's something that I've been meaning to ask you about this problem I'm, ha I'm having tending the garden and um, I just need some advice here. You know, you, you created all this stuff, so help me with this. And 
And maybe one day God said, you know, Adam, you're doing real good with the orchids over there in that orchid patch, but here's a secret. You know, if you just do this, they'll come out with so much better. They'll grow better. They'll grow taller. They'll look prettier, prettier. And I think it was a conversational relationship. Fair of love between the maker and his creatures. I thought that was so pungent. Let me read it again. If creation and redemption meant anything at all, they meant an affair of love between the maker and his creatures. God wants to have an affair with you. He wants to have a closeness, a bond, a love relationship. He wants you to be his lover. Jim, can you start that tape since Thomas isn't here? I've got a song I would like for you to hear. God stood in the stillness and he spoke his creative words let there be light and, and let, let the heavens, heavens appear he made the oceans and the seas and the earth then with his mighty hand he scooped out the canyons with his fingers traced courses for the rivers made the mountains to stand tall and still but then a slight trace of sadness came into his eyes as he made a small only he. Then he said, let us make man in our own image and give him dominion. says late one evening God came to the garden and he's crying out to Adam like Adam Adam buddy where are you I mean it's it's uh, that almost sound like a guy looking for his dog or something but I didn't mean it to sound that way but he is so concerned so he, he's passionately involved in this thing Adam what happened where are you buddy please come back go ahead and play the rest of it Adam Adam, where art thou? The birds had her singing in the garden. There was silence. You could sense it. For something had died. 